So, hello there, all my beautiful guys, girls, non binary pals. I'm Danny, and today we're back with that amazing series on this channel that only has two episodes so far Realistic versus Cartoony, where I draw something in a realistic style and in a cartoony style, and we analyze the differences and how both styles can represent something. Yeah. So today we're actually going to be drawing a dog, but not any dog, we're going to be drawing a German Shepherd. The cutest dog of all. After Calvin and Leia and all the other cute dogs out there. Yeah, you know what? All dogs are cute. It's just a fact of the universe. So let's just start off with the realistic dog. Let's go. So, just like last time, we're starting off with the realistic drawing. As always, I start by sketching out the little German Shepherd. We're actually just be drawing like a bust, just a head and a little bit of fur underneath. Because I really want to capture all the details of the face. I start coloring the tongue, the teeth and the mouth, making sure it looks really good but also has that darkness at the ends, kind of show that the tongue is coming out of the mouth instead of just, just flopping around <laughs> over there. I also put some yellowness in the teeth to make them look more realistic, you know, real teeth, especially dog teeth, aren't all white as some people make them. Then I start off with the nose and blending all the furs here in the face, starting off with the black and we'll slowly move into dark brown and then the lighter brown in the rest of the face.
now we're moving into the eyes, the window to the soul. And of course, all puppies also have souls and they're very cute souls. Should I make a drawing of a puppy soul? Okay, sorry, I'm getting ideas while recording this, this voiceover audio. Okay, so, uh, this German Shepherd has really like golden brown eyes and as always I use my white gel pen to give them that shine that gives them that little life. I really like using that technique. Some people prefer to leave just a blank space, but I really like this technique. I also give him eyebrows, as all puppies technically have eyebrows. Some of them are blended into the rest of the fur, but they do have them, along with those long furs to protect the eye from dust. That's why they exist. Uh, I also make some grey fur around the eyes. I use the reference of a German Shepherd to kind of see how their fur works, especially around the face area where so many colors blend and this was like how the face I used as a reference was arranged. So I hope you like it and I hope it looks like a German Shepherd. While I'm drawing that little fluff at the end of the face, I try to leave a lot a uh, big area like blank and without a lot of layers of color pencil. This helps to give it that fluff and also it brings a lightness to the to the face, so it doesn't look so overwhelmed by so many layers of strong color pencil colors, especially these ones, because with this color pencil you can get like really bright and uh, really bright colors and really solid layers. But I wanted this to be a more like light fluffy layer to really give that illusion that the fur is like almost floating in the face it's not a big chunk of fur it's just a fluffy fluffy heaven like like all puppies are <laughs> Then we move on to the ears that were a bit of a challenge because their ears are fluffy on the inside but they have some fleshy bits at the same time. It's it's really weird it, and it depends on the dog of course, some dog's ears are different from the others. But with German Shepherds they have a lot of little furs outside the ear again to protect it from dust and stuff entering and then it has that fleshy bit. And when the ears on the drawing are like on the side sometimes it's difficult to make it look realistic but I tried my best and remember to always look up reference pictures of the animal so you can remember all these tiny features because they exist for a reason and if they exist you probably gotta draw them. Then we move on to just the rest of that f chunk of fur underneath the head that that's just more there to tie everything together and to fill the page in a nice way because you know if you did just did a huge face with nothing underneath it would look like it wasn't truly complete, so this really helps to bring everything together. I use uh, lots of layers of color pencil to give that nice space layer and then I go with other colors and darker colors to give the illusion of fur. I really try to make this area a bit like more opaque and complete. As I said before, I try to give the face a lot of life, 
life and also lightness. I didn't want it to be too dense. And for some contrast to make the face really stand out in the picture, I want to make the body of the fur really dense and have like lots of layers of color pencil be really opaque. And this is a really good way of making it the face pop and making it drawing look different so it's not all the same tones across the entire drawing. This way you can really see what's the fur of the face and what's the fur of the body and it really helps to bring those little layers to the drawing and it's really important to keep that in mind when you're doing something like this. Okay, so as you guys watch me just finish off this good boy, I'm gonna tr tell you a little something about myself, you know. Ever since I was a little kid, like three years old, maybe four, I don't really remember, you know. Most people don't remember that time. I always wanted a German Shepherd, it was like my dream. <laughs> and of course we couldn't get one because we didn't have a house for it. I mean, big dogs like that need a lot of space to run. And so my parents and I settled for our two tiny dogs, Calvin and Leia. And I love them so, so much. I would never trade them for a German Shepherd now, but you know. It's still my dream and I think when I grow up and get a place of my own I'll try to get one if I can. Maybe I can even show him to you guys in a video in the in that uh, alternative future, I don't know. So yeah, I hope you guys like this realistic drawing and we're kind of done now. We have now completed our beautiful realistic German Shepherd. Here he is. I don't know if you have a name for him, leave it in the comments, he's really cute. And now, I mean, he's kind of lonely, right? We should give him a sibling, but that sibling is gonna be a bit different. He's actually gonna be a lot more cartoony than he is, so let's, you know, make sure he isn't alone. Now we're drawing our nice cartoony German Shepherd. I use a Prismacolor blue color pencil to sketch out the face of the dog and you'll probably recognize some of the supplies I'm using from Jazz's Jazzy Art Box. That's right, I'm using the sketchbook and the fine liners and the white gel pen that all came in the box, that was really good. And as you can see I'm sketching out the face similar to the realistic one but keeping everything is always really cartoony. And yeah, I hope it turns out great. It's Some people think that realistic art is better because it looks more complicated, but truly cartoony art is just as complicated and takes just as much skill. They're both skills you need to learn and people should keep that in mind. Not lots of people think like that and I think pe more people should think like that. I use different brush pens for the line art, trying to keep it really clean, give it some uh, uh, line weight variation, making some of those smaller, lighter fur details, especially in the face, try to give it an expression because, you know, realistic animals can have expression, but that's really not only easier to capture with cartoons, but it makes more sense, you know, something cartoony always needs to have some sort of expression. This is almost like a character design, you're creating a character that just happens to be a dog. Was in something realistic, you need to capture it like it is in nature. That's the, and I'm not saying that you can't capture emotion in it, but it's a lot different from capturing it in something cartoony that almost lo looks like it's having complex human emotions. I use the same colored pencils I use for the realistic drawing to color this nice puppy and I use pretty much the same colors but this time I try to make like more flat surfaces of fur instead of using a lot of blending because I think that would be kind of cheating. I'm, I'm, this is supposed to be cartoony and that doesn't mean you can't blend but usually two, three colors, you know, give shadows and highlights but it's important that in the cartoony style everything is a lot more blocky and solid while in something realistic there needs to be texture, a lot more texture and that's one of the big differences between these two styles.
so now we're almost done and as you see me just finishing up and painting all of this stuff I hope you liked both of these drawings, they were really fun to make and you know, it's it's like a dream, my childhood dream to have a German Shepherd and now I have two they may be drawings but you know, they're mine so I guess the, the dream did come true after all thanks for, for watching so far and the outro is coming soon where we'll compare both of the results so yeah, let's do that now Then everything's done. Here he is, our beautiful cartoony German Shepherd. You can see that the colors are a lot more vibrant than in the realistic one. Can you see them? They're siblings now, they're best friends. In the last episode of this series I drew both the realistic and the cartoony in the same size piece of paper, but I wanted to try and make it a little different. I also used fine liners for this one and the other I just used the colored pencils because I think we should give both styles a fair shot and make it so it has the best chance of winning this epic battle that's not really a battle. Dogs just are, they're just playing, okay? They're not fighting. But as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it. It really, really helps a small YouTuber like me. Be sure to like the video if you like the video and subscribe to see more because remember this is a series. And yeah, thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you guys on the other side. Bye!